envy is saying, I'm saying this because of my brethren. I'm saying this because of my companions. I'm saying this because of my relatives. Because if I love my relatives, if I love my family, and if I love my brethren, I want peace to be in the place well living. But not only that, it says, because of the house of the Lord our God, I will seek thy good. What it means is, because of pure worship, because of the spiritual welfare of the brethren, and because of the salvation of the unconverted. That's why my prayer, my desire, is that I'll be seeking the good and the peace of the place where I live. In Ezekiel chapter 9. Ezekiel chapter 9. From verse 4. And the Lord said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abomination that be done in the midst thereof. There were abominations in the city, lawlessness in the city, and there was violence in the city. And because of that, the Lord said unto the angel, He said, Go through that city. Which city? Through the midst of Jerusalem. And find out the people there who so much love that city. And they are crying and they are concerned because of that city. They are concerned because of the violence there, because of the immorality there, because of the iniquity there, because of the abominations there. See that they are concerned and mark them. Why were they marking them? Because they were patriotic. Because they were loving. And because they wanted the good of that city. And therefore, they wanted everything good for the city. And the Lord said, He'll give them protection. He'll give them prosperity. And so should the Christian also behave today. You are concerned for the city in which you live. You are concerned for the country in which you live. And if you are so concerned, you are praying. If you are so concerned, you are telling the Lord, let there be peace in our city. Let there be peace in our country. The Lord will mark you out, and then He will protect you and preserve you. And do, will do a lot of good, good things in your life. In First Peter chapter 2. First Peter chapter 2. Verse 13. Submit yourself. To every ordinance of man, for the Lord's sake, whether it be to the king as supreme, unto governors as unto them that are sent by him, for the punishment of evil doers, and for the praise of them that do well. It says in verse 15, for so is the will of God, that with well doing, Ye may put to silence the ignorance of foolish men as free, and not using your liberty for a cloak of maliciousness, but as the servants of God. Honor all men, love the brotherhood, fear God, honor the king. In short, he's telling us to be patriotic, he's telling us to love our country. He's telling us to love the leadership in the government over us. And you will see, says it in so many ways. He's telling us to submit ourselves to the every ordinance of man. That he is to be law abiding. And he's saying that we do that just for the Lord's sake. Not only that, he mentions governors. That he is the people that lead and rule over us. Whether in the locality, in the local government or in the city, or in the state, or in the nation. We need to do that to show that we're real children of God. And then in verse 16, though we're not free, we're free from sin, and we're even free from men, but we do not use our freedom and liberty as a cover up, as a cloak of maliciousness, but as a servants of God, we're respectful to all men, we honor all men. 
We love the children of God. We love the brotherhood. We fear God and we're obedient to the Lord. And we honor the king. We're obedient to the king, to the leaders in the nation as well. Proverbs 14, 34. Righteousness exalted a nation. But sin is a reproach to any people. Now to be patriotic, that means you will not add to the sin of the city. You will not add to the sin of the nation. Because sin is a reproach to any city and to any country. But it is only righteousness that will exalt the city or the country. In chapter 11 of Proverbs, verse 11. By the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted. If you are upright and you are influencing other people to be upright, once again, let me remind you that means be patriotic. You do everything with justice. There is no injustice. There is no unrighteousness in your hand. Then it says, by the blessing of the upright, the city is exalted. On the other hand, in verse 11, but it is overthrown by the mouth of the wicked. And let's go back now to Psalm 122. Today the Lord has reminded us, and the Lord is teaching us that if we have not been doing it, we ought to do it. This is very, very important. And look at Psalm 122 from verse 6. This is the command of the Lord. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem, the peace of the city where you live, and by extension, the peace of the country where you live. They shall prosper that love thee. You will prosper spiritually and in your family. You will prosper in every way. And even the church will prosper if we love the city enough to pray for the city and for the country. Peace be within thy walls and prosperity within thy palaces. For my brethren and companions sake, I will now say, peace be within thee. And uh, why are we making the prayer in particular? Because of our prayer and our companions and because of the house of the Lord, our God. I will seek thy good. And I think we ought to start here to pray for our own city. Is that not right? We should start to pray for our own country. We're going to rise up now. Please, you're not going to pray a selfish prayer. You're not just going to pray, I want to be healed, I want to get this, I want to get that. We want to now obey the scriptures and pray for the city and pray for the country. Let us pray that the Lord will grant us peace in our nation. He will grant us peace in our city. And then everything that uh, we, the, the country ought to be doing, the school system, the social services, the hospitals, the government, the private sector, the public sector, virtually every section will have peace. And then there will be prosperity. The blessing of the Lord will be upon individuals, upon families, upon churches, as well as upon the country. Pray for the peace of the city where you live. Seek the good of our country. Be peaceful. Be patriotic. Be prayerful too.